Let's begin with the GC101 homepage. You'll notice that the screen is divided into two areas, a larger main area on the left and a smaller column on the right. Most of the course materials are located here, in this main area of the course homepage. At the top, you'll find general information about GC101, including how to use the course site, a course guide, and some other useful materials that we'll get into in a moment. Below this general information, you'll see the information you need to know about Module 1. It starts with the description of the module, and then a summary of the coursework for this module. Here you'll see links to the course materials listed in the order we encourage you to do them. In this Summary of the Coursework link, you can click to open it and see a list of everything involved in the first module. If you'd like, you can print out this page to help you keep track of what there is to do. Click the Back button in your web browser to return to the main course homepage. It's that easy to navigate through all of the coursework. At the top left, you'll see the module number listed. Use this to help keep you oriented. This course homepage will grow longer over the weeks. As more modules are opened up to you, you'll see them appear at the bottom of the page. Here you'll see a discussion forum. These forums are a place you can type a question or comment, and everyone in the course can read and respond to it by replying. We'll use these discussion forums as a place for you to virtually meet each other, post thoughts on the content, and to ask questions. Forums can be a great community building tool, so we hope you'll take advantage of this way to connect with each other and the course materials. You will enjoy reading how the other participants are responding to the course and will want to read their posts. This indicator shows that there is one unread message, which just means that there has been one message posted to this forum since the last time you logged in. We also have these two discussion forums in the top section of the course homepage. This one is a special announcements forum. It's a place the course communicators will post important messages for all participants. The messages posted here will also come to you as an email. And there's a technical help forum for you to ask any technical questions. We'll be checking it regularly to help resolve any technical issues. This right column contains useful information you may want to reference throughout the duration of the course. The schedule of live community sessions gives you a quick glance of when we'll be meeting in online real-time sessions, talking with each other about the content of each module. The section links area will be useful later when we start getting into the other modules of GC101. You'll be able to jump right to the current module without needing to scroll down the home page. In this course participants area, you can click the participants link to see all the people who are taking this journey with you. And here, there's a link to the Pachamama Alliance website. The settings area has one important element. It's where you can add a photo to your profile. The image you add will appear next to all of your discussion forum posts and can really help personalize the course. It doesn't need to be the best photo ever, just something so we can put a face to your comments. To add your profile photo, make sure you have a picture of yourself saved on your computer as a JPEG or PNG format. Click My Profile Settings. In the menu that appears, click Edit Profile. Scroll down the page and you'll notice this large blue arrow. You can just drag the photo of yourself from your computer into this field. Scroll to the bottom of the page and be sure to click the Update Profile button to save your preferences. You'll see your new profile photo and image displayed on the page. In Section Links, over on the right of the page, just click 1 to get back to the main course homepage. If you're using a public computer, you may want to log out. From the top of the course homepage, just click Log Out. Otherwise, it's fine to stay logged in. There will be other short videos like this each time you start something new, like the first time you post in a discussion forum or use the journal tool, so don't worry about those things right now. 
We hope this gives you a good sense of how to navigate GC 101. Give it a try, and if you have questions, please ask in the technical help forum in the top section of the course homepage.